Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and this is my first impressions review of Freedom Finger. The heck is Freedom Finger? This game comes out today as I'm uploading this review and I'm playing the Steam PC version. This is a side scrolling space shoot 'em up, but it has a very crude adult humor and it's pretty freaking awesome so as always if you like what i do and you want to help out the channel leave a like it does help a lot if you haven't already sub daily videos um i usually try to show you some footage at the end but this game has a lot of copyright music so i won't be able to do any of that but don't worry throughout the whole video you're gonna see gameplay so and uh they even advertise on their steam page let me go check it out that they are adding music from um nolan oh wait nolan north is in this game dang john dimaggio eric baza sam Rigel, and there's music from asap rocky let's see if they have any more stuff in here because the soundtrack is this game red fang mets power trip white fence makeup and vanity set cleaners from venus the mall and a lot more I skipped over a bunch okay so what the heck is this game? I want to talk about the price, the story, the graphics, the audio, the gameplay, and some other noteworthy things. First of all, this is... When I first started, I thought it was going to be just like, like a little fun basic shooter. And it, it seemed pretty gimmicky because I saw screenshots like, oh, you're just a giant middle finger. The game's way more than that. And I'm proud to say, yeah, it is. So, um, as I'm uh, recording this, the game is still not accessed on Steam, so there's no price. But if I were to put a price on this game... I would say it would be worth $19.99 up to $29.99 just because of I was just because they have so many contributions to this in terms of art, voice acting, and music that it could be worth all the way up to that. Um, the story, oh god, how do I even start with this story? You start the game, you are a pilot in a giant middle finger ship, and you get contacted by American four-star general. Uh, General Sigs and he says that hey on China there's a we have a lunar base and the Chinese are taking it over so they want you to go over there and destroy them yeah it just starts and then you go okay I will and then you jump in and you start killing things <laughs> it's so dumb to explain but that's what it is that's the you go kill things. Graphics. Let's talk about the graphics. I was honestly super surprised. Like, looking at screenshots, you can't really tell and appreciate. But when you play the game, all of the character voices and animations together, it fits well. When you're flying through the stages, the backgrounds, all the enemy um, sprites, and it just all works together and feels good. It's super cartoony. It reminds me of, like... Um, something you would see on like Adult Swim, that type of deal. Um, so yeah, the graphics are great. The audio is badass. Oh my god. This game, if you didn't already like the combat, and we'll get into the gameplay in a second, but the music makes you want to just go to the next track. Sorry, go, go to the next stage. It's funny because this game, I think the stages are exactly the same length of a song. And they have real licensed songs, which is why I can't do any gameplay. I mean, can't do any music here today to show you. But whenever I start a stage, it shows you, hey, this is level one, two. This is the name of the stage. And in quotes, this is the name of the song. So you go through it and then you just fight and go through it. And then at the end of the, mu at the, end of the track, it ends. And it usually ends in like, you know, a spot where you think it's going to end anyway. But it's cool that they kind of lined it up to that. So the music... And graphics are really awesome, dude. Really, really great. Let's talk about the gameplay and how it actually works. The whole game, you're shooting things. You have primarily three ways of attacking people. You can... The whole time, your middle finger is out like that. Sorry, I'm flipping you off, but I'm doing a little thing. And you shoot little pellets. You shoot, shoot, shoot. A basic shooter. Other thing you can do, using the face buttons, of course. Your fist, your giant hand, you can punch things in the air. You punch, punch, and if you press it three times in a row, you do a freaking uppercut. So <laughs> you can see it goes punch, punch, uppercut. You can knock out many enemies. Most enemies can die with one hit, not bosses. And you can shoot back things. So if there is a, um, 
an unbreakable item that you can't shoot with your laser finger. You punch it, and then it just shoots forward and it attacks whoever's in front of you. And the other thing that you can do out of the three actions is grabbing your giant hand. What else? What else are you gonna do? You gotta grab stuff so you can pick up enemies and throw them back. What's even greater is this game doesn't really have power-ups, but what you can do is you can grab an enemy who is a giant ship and you can grab him, hold him hostage, and then fire their weapon out. So that kind of acts as a power-up, which is pretty freaking hilarious. One thing I really love that they did, this game has a huge sense of humor. There's a giant gunship that comes after you. You can grab it and it's essentially, a, you're now a giant hand in space holding a giant shotgun shape spaceship and you're shooting a shotgun that you're doing that this game is freaking nuts dude so that that's pretty much it you you fly through the levels it's fun it's pretty it's like it starts off easy and then it slowly gets a little challenging it kind of reminds me of like a gradius or r type feel of course those games are much more uh retro and you know more traditional with power-ups and stuff but this one it's humor up the ass. It's it's really freaking good. I would recommend go watching some gameplay, some uncut footage gameplay, rather than this review. Well, I mean, as well as this review. The thing is, though, I can't put it up. I tried putting it up, but it was copyrighted, so I had to cut it out. So, I don't want to get claimed. Sorry. <laughs> so, other noteworthy things. This game has a lot of people backing it. Nolan North is on there. He might be, like, the four-star general. He's the guy who talks to you the most. And, uh, yeah... There's a lot going on here. So, I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you have any sub for daily videos, I do upload daily videos. Come by my Twitch live streams. Follow it. There's a link down below. I wish I could show you. I usually show you guys like 5 to 10 minutes of gameplay, but I can't. I can't. But what I can do is show you gameplay, mute the audio, and run my own track. Enjoy listening to the Fire Emblem soundtrack while I shoot things in space. Gonna end it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.